Getty Bitcoin rose over the weekend 20.53 update $25 million worth of Bitcoin to be sold at U.S. Marshall's auction. The Bitcoins that will be auctioned were confiscated in connection with various federal criminal, civil and administrative cases. The U.S. Marshals will be putting 2,170 Bitcoins in the auction, with a sale planning to take place on March 19.19.12 update, Bitcoin starting to rise from $11,500 mark according to CoinMarketCap, Bitcoin is now starting to rise above the mark it has been bouncing around for a large part of the day. It is now valued at $11,677, 17.34 update, Merriam-Webster has added several cryptocurrency-related words to its dictionary cryptocurrency, initial coin offering and blockchain have all been added to the dictionary.15.52. Update, latest cryptocurrency scam uses the face of Ryan Gosling Chinese company, Mirosky have used a photo of Ryan Gosling to represent its graphic designer who is apparently called Kevin Bellinger. It has come to light, that everyone listed under its Meet the Team page is a photo of another person with a fake name. However, most eyes appear to be on Mr. Gosling due to his fame. The tagline for Miroski states it will be the latest cryptocurrency to challenge Bitcoin. According to its website, Miroski Coin is developed and brought to business by the experts from China, Hong Kong, Singapore and Japan to ease the crypto revolution in financial products. 15.36 Update World's first whiskey cryptocurrency is announced A new cryptocurrency has been launched in Scotland which gives investors the chance to own a share of a £40 million portfolio of scotch via a new cryptocurrency called CaskSwan. Each coin will be backed by physical ownership of a share of a cask of scotch. Ricky Christie Caskswan Operations Director said, With Caskswan, we are marrying hundreds of years of tradition with cutting-edge technology to provide a unique opportunity to invest in one of the most sought-after whiskey portfolios in the world. Whiskey has a rich history as a store of value and a medium of exchange, and we are building upon this idea with the help of the blockchain and our new Caskswan cryptocurrency. Afternoon headlines Additional reporting by Darius McQuaid Bitcoin is currently priced at $11,530, marking a $3 drop compared to its price at 7.30 this morning. Finder.com set up their third edition in a series of monthly panels on how the top 12 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization and two trending coins will perform in 2018. The panel predicted that by the end of the year, Ethereum will overtake Bitcoin in terms of market capitalization. They see a 212% increase in Ethereum's market capitalization. Finder.com believe Bitcoin will rise by a large amount but not as much as Ethereum. They think it will see a rise of 194%. John Osler, CEO at Finder.com said, While the downturn has continued over the past month for many coins, our panel is positive that it's coming to an end. All 12 coins listed in this report are expected to increase in value by April 1, 2018, and also rise further by the year's end. While coins like Dogecoin, Doge, Cardano, ADA, and EOS, EOS are expected to see greater growth than Bitcoin, BTC, this year, BTC is still forecast by our panel to reach the highest value of the 12 coins, at $29,533.33 by December 31st. The cryptocurrency market is super volatile and will continue to represent high risk, which is why it's so important to do your research, get professional advice and compare your options before considering purchasing cryptocurrency. 7.30 a.m. morning headlines Good morning, and welcome to our rolling coverage of all things cryptocurrency, including price, regulation, innovation and financial crime. Bitcoin is priced at $11.533 at the start of the day, having risen around $500 since Sunday morning. Cryptocurrency commentators are still mulling over comments from Governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney who said last week that cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are a failure and a lottery. He said they exhibit all the classic hallmarks of bubbles, which attract fools, Mr. Carney said. The prices of many cryptocurrencies have exhibited the classic hallmarks of bubbles including new paradigm justifications, broadening retail enthusiasm and extrapolated price expectations reliant in part on finding the greater fool. At present, crypto assets raise a host of issues around consumer and investor protection, market integrity, money laundering, terrorism financing, tax evasion, and the circumvention of capital controls and international sanctions. The core content of Carney's speech, which although highly negative and damning, does call for further regulation.
This shows us that a legal financial framework for the crypto space is quickly becoming a reality. Kevin Merco, CEO, CoinMetro However, Kevin Merco, CEO of cryptocurrency exchange, CoinMetro agrees that although Mr. Carney's words were harsh, regulation is needed. He said, we have long believed that cryptocurrencies should be held to same standards as traditional fiat currencies, especially when it comes to active trading, the core content of Carney's speech, which although highly negative and damning, does call for further regulation. This shows us that a legal financial framework for the crypto space is quickly becoming a reality, he adds. Strong regulation backed by respected institutions is important to deliver stability to the market. This can only benefit investors in the longer term. For any currency to thrive, it requires liquidity and meaningful movement of tokenized securities. This is something that cryptocurrencies have struggled with due to the unregulated and costly infrastructure that currently supports their issuing, holding and trading. The current volatility that we've witnessed across the crypto markets is in large part caused by a lack of regulation and uniformity in how these are traded. What's important is that central banks don't snuff out the crypto industry. Contrary to what some believe, it is only in its infancy, and will only continue to grow. Updates below throughout the day, 12.45 p.m. Update, support for both Nigel Green, founder and CEO of Devere Group, has added to the chorus of support for the Bank of England's plans to regulate cryptocurrencies, arguing that the approach is proactive and pragmatic, and should be championed. He said, the Bank of England is one of the world's most influential central banks and, as such, its approach is likely to help shape the policies of others. Mr. Green argues that strong regulatory frameworks will give investors even more protection and more confidence in the market. The comments by the Bo Governor on the regulation of cryptocurrencies will help fuel a sustainable recovery of the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin and DAS. 10.59 a.m. Update. Bit of a dip. BTC has dipped a little to $11,482. Ripple is back above the $1 mark at $1.06, and Ethereum is at $863, 9.43 a.m. Update, would you pay using Amazon Coin? Over half of respondents in a new lender do survey said they would use an Amazon-created cryptocurrency for purchases on the site. More than 58% of Prime users said they would consider using Amazon Coins, while 45% are open to possibly using Amazon as their primary bank account. Big tech innovators are perhaps the best place to bring cryptocurrencies into mainstream use as a means of exchange but so far they've been reluctant to embrace the challenge. 8.47 a.m. Update. North Korea offsets international sanctions with crypto gains. North Korea is believed to have made $200 million in digital cryptocurrency transactions last year, helping the rogue nation to offset the economic impact of U.S.-backed international sanctions over its nuclear and missiles program. North Korea's huge haul of 11,000 bitcoins was revealed by Priscilla Moriuchi, a former U.S. National Security Agency officer, in an interview with Radio Free Asia. Ms. Moriuchi told Vox.com, I would bet that these coins are being turned into something, currency of physical goods, that is supporting North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile program.